What's going on everybody? Come back and we're going to talk about this uh, little pack right here. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick with Ten Outdoors. Um, so the idea behind this pack is I carry a backpack every day at work. In that pack it has things for me, you know, in case I need them throughout the day. Of course my computer and I do keep a, a tablet in there uh, to do different things. Making notes, basically, and maybe, you know, compiling some stuff for a future video. So, I thought about it. Uh, Hilltop Outdoors actually did a video here not too long ago about a little pack he carries. It's actually the very same pack. It's the Red Rock uh, Outdoors pack. I've had this thing since, I think the first video was 2007. Maybe wrong, but what I'll do is I'll wherever that shows up on whatever side, I'll put the original video up for this pack, telling you about all the particulars on this pack. You can still get this pack; it's still in production. Um, I know I got mine off of uh, um, Sportsman's Warehouse or Sportsman's Guide. Excuse me, that's where I got this one. So let's go. And what I want you to do too is at the end of the video down in the comments comment what i should add now this is what i consider my weekend tag along pack um so it's gonna have different things in it for different you know whatevers um but it's basically a small down version of what i carry every day so like in this pocket i have a first a small just a like a backpacker's first aid kit um in case i need it I also keep uh, business cards for mid to outdoors because, hey, you never know. Uh, then also, now in this pocket, this is a big pocket. It's got kind of your dividers in it for this pack. Now, I've been carrying around um, a Glock 19 here of late. I don't know why I did, but I'm carrying the big sucker. Uh, so I keep a magazine. I keep a spare Glock mag in a bunch of my vehicles so, or my vehicle and this and i think there's two or three in the house they're loaded and ready to go also have a less lethal i have pepper spray in here um ready to go at any point in time then i got a leatherman this is the skeletal always keep a permanent marker in there ink pen to write with a pair of little pliers this and i'll probably mispronounce the crap by this is the connects pliers so if you can see those these things are pretty cool um they they adjust like that by pushing in that little button right there and pretty my little player pliers for little pliers uh then i keep a writing pad let's see something fell down in here oh my fire steel i keep a fire steel in here like I said, now I'm not carrying this thing hiking or backpacking or anything. I'm just, this is my personal take it with me for the day pack. Now these, I got these the other day. We're going to test a couple of these out. They're little towels uh, that you wet them and they expand into a towel. You never know when you're going to need them. I keep my uh, Phoenix E12 in there. Uh, keep, ouch, that hurt. A little tube of chapstick. Uh, then this little multi-tool. Does all kinds of things. A little pry tool. The big pocket. I can slide my vlog style camera in. No problem whatsoever. Take it with me anywhere I need to go. In the very back, I have a pouch from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. See it? Um, in this, I call this my electronics pouch. I'm not through with it. I keep a battery backup to charge phone with. And then I keep two different cords for charging two different phones because my wife's got a droid and I've got the iPhone. So there's the two cords for that. I keep military style. I didn't say it was true military. It's military style chem light. Um, you never know when you're going to need something like that. In this pocket, there's a bandana. There's 
two double A's, which the Phoenix only takes one double A. I need to throw a couple of uh, CR-123s because every now and then I throw one of the uh, O-lights in there and need the CR-123s. I think that's all in that pocket. So that's it. Of course, in the back of this one, you can put your revolver. You can get one of the Velcro holsters and slide it down here and keep it in here. You can also put one of those Velcro holsters down in here. And there's Velcro all the way down in there, but I don't... I usually wear my whole, my gun on my hip unless there's a reason not to. But anyway, that's all I keep in the bag for now. So here's where I want your participation a little bit. What else do you think I'm missing? Um, I know there's a few things in it. Like I said, this is a ongoing project. I say ongoing project because stuff keeps growing as far as what goes in this bag. Um, I don't want to get it too overloaded. Um, it's not a bug out bag for say. It's just a everyday needs bag. Um, you know, maybe a little bit redundant to have these little pliers and this in there, but I can find getting a grip on these little suckers a lot easier and a lot more comfortable than getting a grip on these. Now, the other reason why I would keep these is because the interchangeable bits and of course it's got a blade on it now i do not have a knife in here right now because i always carry a knife on me on the weekends too well, i carry a knife with me all the time so that's how that goes so anyway um what do you think i need what else do you think i need what else do you think i'm missing um not too worried about water purification out of this thing so that's why i don't have that in there but there may be some uh, everyday needs that i'm missing out of this so I want you guys, my outdoor crew, to tell me what that is. So with all that said, um, go check out my links down below from Amazon and all that other stuff, website, all that. Um, but drop a comment down here of anything you think I need to add to this pack. So with all that said, go watch this old video over here and go click on the review of this pack from way back when. And... Um, so that's it for now. Be prepared.